Hey everybody, welcome to Ron's Basement, and I hope you enjoy my daddy's show. The next 12 to 24 months may very well prove to be the most explosive that we ever experience during our lifetimes. How does silver fit into that? Likely, you're a person who holds some physical silver. I want to take a look at some of the big picture factors going on with silver. Will it really protect us in times of economic turmoil? Maybe it already has. You may be watching this video at a later date. Maybe silver's reached 40 50, maybe all-time high levels measured in nominal terms of $85 an ounce. Nonetheless, when we look at what's going on with silver, within the context of what's going on in the world, there's a great case for higher real values in silver. We know over the last few years, there's been more silver demanded. The world needs more silver than is being provided by the mining companies and the recycling industries. Those are the two main sources of supply for silver. Now, there's this whole argument about stockpiles of silver, but at the end of the day, wouldn't you say that if anything, oil, silver, gold, bread, wheat, whatever it may be, if there's more demand from the market than is being produced on an annual basis, doesn't it make sense? that eventually the price in real terms eventually goes much, much higher. And what if we look south of the border into our friend Mexico? Did you know Mexico produces almost one third of all silver that's produced every single year? One thing for sure about Mexico, if you follow the mining industry, you know, the last few years have been very difficult in Mexico for mining companies. Their production is going down, down, down. There's new political leadership making it very difficult to mine in Mexico. There's social issues. There's strikes at mines. There's blockades at mines. Companies are shying away from investing money into Mexico. And again, they provide one third of of the world's silver. What is that telling us from a big picture perspective? And what do you think when you hear that 80% of all silver that is produced every year is actually a byproduct from other mining activities? That can tell us two things. Number one, silver is somewhat of an afterthought to some of the big mining companies. So as demand for silver goes up and up and up, and price as well, those companies are more focused on things like copper or zinc. They aren't going to be able to automatically increase their silver production. If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pembex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. What do you think about silver when you think about the BRICS countries, or should we say the BRICS plus countries now? No discussion of silver is complete without mentioning India and China, and that's just the IC, the ick in the BRICS. They are demanding silver at an ever-increasing rate. Heck, in 2022, India alone imported over 300 million ounces of silver, and while the numbers in 2023 did not match that, they were still significant, and those numbers show just how much demand for silver is growing in the East Eastern countries. Have you heard Chinese refiners throwing up their arms saying we need more silver? China is producing solar panels at a rate which makes our eyes roll back. There is so much demand for silver in the Eastern countries that it will absolutely have an impact on the price on a worldwide basis. 
because think about it. Over the last number of decades, the silver price was held like a stranglehold by the West, by the COMEX, by the LBMA, and that situation is changing because on top of the Chinese and the Indian countries just demanding more silver, they're also making concrete moves to start their own markets, to trade silver on their own. To, to, to conduct their own price discovery because they know that the real price of silver should be much, much higher. And we're seeing evidence of that, even on the Shanghai Gold Exchange, on the Shanghai Futures Exchange, where several times over the last number of months, the quoted silver price was 10, 12, 14% higher on the Shanghai Gold Exchange than what we saw in the West on the COMEX and the LBMA. What is that telling us? One company that is having great success getting gold and silver out of the ground is channel sponsor Fortuna Silver Mines. You can check them out at fortunasilver.com. They're a global gold and silver mining company. They've had great success over the last few years building new mines. They have a solid balance sheet and what I think is a world-class management team. Again, check them out at fortunasilver.com. But when we think about what's going on in the world with the silver market right now, we can look forward to some much, much higher prices as we head into the coming year, five years, and 10 years. Investor demand for silver over the last year has been down. And while that might make us initially pessimistic about silver, something to remember is that investor demand for silver typically skyrockets when the price goes up. For some reason, silver investors have this real bad habit of selling as the price goes down, but rushing to buy, fear of missing out as the price goes up. Have you ever thought about the fact that the silver market is one of the oldest markets in the world. And what comes with age? Wisdom. And as we move into these coming 12 to 24 months, which could prove to be extremely explosive, remember, silver's wisdom will allow it to look out into the future and accommodate what it sees as some very significant changes on the horizon. Silver has been around for thousands and thousands of years. It survived all of the turmoil that the world has been able to throw at it over the millennia, and it will continue to survive and thrive in real terms, real value for thousands of years to come. Think of your silver like a battery that stores value not electricity, it's the best transmitter of electricity on the planet, but it can also act as a battery to store value. That same one ounce of silver that you may be holding in your hand right now has about the same value today that it had for a person who lived 1,000 years ago. That should give you some solace, some comfort that investing in silver is a good way to protect your wealth. Have you noticed over the last few years that big world events, black swan events, miniature black swan events, that they're happening on a much more frequent basis and at a much more extreme level? Again, silver can anticipate this. Silver looks out into the future. Now, you likely have already boarded the silver train. You've got your seat. You've got your bags, right? When that train starts to leave the station, there's very few open seats. The silver market is very, very small. When everyone rushes to want to board the train, the locomotive will be pulling away. It may very likely become difficult for investors to find any physical silver to get into their possession. And we have ample proof of how quick this can happen. If we look just back nine months ago to the banking crisis that happened in March, April of 2023, you couldn't get silver at your local coin shop. There were wait times of four to six weeks at most all the big online bullion dealers. 
As we enter this period of major change in the next one to two years, there's no guarantee anything will happen with the silver price. But when I look at the big picture, when you look at the big picture of what's going on, it sure feels like we're headed for increased real value in the silver price. None of us know for sure. None of us have a crystal ball. The best we can do is look at all the crumbs, piece things together, and make the best decisions that we can. I'll be here for you through it all. I appreciate you joining me today here in Ron's Basement. If you've enjoyed your visit, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel that helps, and it's free. Most important, be well, and I'll see you next time.